it's not an area of expertise of mine. Mm -hmm. I'd say like the, the viewpoint I've read that I think makes the most sense is we educate a lot of foreign students and then we make it really difficult for them to stay in this country. And so, and I see that a lot. Like we see really talented people who come in uh, for interviews and then like, you know, visa and whatnot. And we're even, we're one of the startups that actually will work with them to try to make it happen. But it can be, it can be overwhelming, right? And I think as a, uh, as a young company, a lot of folks are just like, I don't want to deal with that. And so I think, you know, we're spending all of this time, you know, and these really talented folks are coming here to be educated. And then we basically say leave. And, you know, it seems just sort of short sighted. Um, so I think that probably seems like one of the, I don't know, it's definitely not easy because if it was easy, it probably would have been done already. But it seems like one of the lost opportunities that we have is just like, you know, all this immense talent that comes here to, train in our awesome universities, like why not let them stay and build companies or at least work at companies here that um, can use their talents. Yeah, there's been a lot of debate around immigration and hiring talent from abroad. Yeah. And I know the startup community generally is in favor of hiring talent from abroad. Yeah, it all gets bucketed under that immigration mantle and then like people sort of lose their minds and it starts to mean lots of different things, right? So. Um, but yeah, I think the startup and sort of venture capital communities are all very much, and even probably the big tech companies are all behind this idea of, you know, help, you know, let's keep the talent here that's being educated. But, um, but then, you know, I guess politics is politics. Right.